So, let us speak about separating from goddamn cycles because you know, cycles can accumulate a lot of the times and a lot of the times our chakras can accumulate certain thoughts and feelings that may not be benevolent or, or assistance in creating circumstances or situation that is actually positive for us. You know, a lot of the times we can uh, indulge in or have certain things as a part of our cycles that are actually more harming us on a percentage level, level rather than the positive level, right? Because the food that we like a lot of times can be the same thing that kills us. I'm actually standing on a super awkward position right now. <laughs> Fucking look at this fuck. But um, a lot of times, yeah, the things that we love can kill us. And a lot of the times, if we don't understand how to cycle these things in time, these things can accumulate in deposits of chemicals mentally and both biologically into ailments, biological ailments that come from mental ailments and, shit and stuff like that, not being able to create an equilibrium and stuff like that. Because a lot of the times we can create more substances on a percentage level and that can actually overload the system and make it more acidic. So the body is a mechanism of balancing both al alkalinity and motherfucking acidity at the same time. And that's, that, that's just nothing but a measurement on the pH scale. So when you, when you look at that with your thoughts and feelings, if you create an emotion of shame and you've been indoctrinated into something type of shit like a religion or something that puts you inside of an emotion that actually makes you but because that's the thing that actually puts you in a negative space but you logically justify that with theologies and religions how do you even think people come up as like as slaves and stuff like that they believe oh i'm not supposed to be free you know all types of beliefs that lead you into creating negative situations and things that are not positive but you could just justify it to yourself and tell yourself oh i need to go through these trials and tribulations because that's what it means to be you know a man or a woman in this geographical location because you can clearly see around the world there's obviously all types of humans that interpret information differently and have a different perspective and have a different worldview and they came together in some way shape and form and you know built a society so obviously nobody lacks intelligence it's obviously that everyone else has a form of subjectivity so when you look at your form of subjectivity and shit like that it's you got to look at it like damn is this thing positive or negative and you know if you have something in a cycle in your chakras because you know this, this whole temple of god is a series of chakras there's a whole loopy loop system there's a whole coiling system there's a whole interconnected system and shit like that and all of it is interacting so as observers we are actually when we have a greater observation based on our own perspective subjectively as well that leads to certain chemical deposits and when you learn how to actually to direct your cycle so you can begin to accumulate thoughts and feelings things that are more in your favor because a lot of people don't see how a lot of these programs they are they are in basically creates a negative self-image for them and puts them in a space where they're not able to have charismatic gifts or you know expand their spaces and stuff like that like when i was practicing islam and stuff like that as a child trying to like figure it out be like oh trying to rationalize with myself oh you know what yeah this is the right thing to do like i had to look at it like damn you know what but look at the space it's putting me in. I'm giving something outside of me my energy. I'm talking about something that's ever self-sustaining. It doesn't ever need anything. And it needs my energy. That doesn't make any fucking logical sense. And then when you get into the Bible and all these books. And I'll tell you, oh, you're going to go to hell if you don't follow this religion. And all that stuff. So it's like, what? God need to threaten me? God don't got no charismatic gift? Hold on. Why the fuck does God even sound like a Berber? That's not like God sound barbaric. That's what God fucking sound like. God supposed to be more so fucking intelligent. So fucking, so fucking angelic beyond y'all goddamn egotistical human desires that God don't even participate in that. So for you, for people to start putting God in their category, in their human realm, that, you know, that's, that's just a narcissist running a religion, running some type of religious program that you may not be aware or privy to, but that's the thing at the same time, though. A lot of times they disclose these details to people. So a lot of people don't be aware of how these things be used as spellcraft that be getting them lost in real signs and sigils that we have in front of us that we just use as a form of you know, mathematical uh, pinpoints and you know, to outline a parameter and stuff like that. Because this whole thing is a space of fucking elementals and stuff like that. You got goddamn water, you got goddamn earth, you got goddamn air, you got goddamn fire, you got all types of modalities, you got goddamn chemicals, you can create new shit. There's all types of possibilities. So, the, so with the mind, you can create all types of new mental technologies, like play out all types of characters if you understand what you're doing. Because you are being a character right now. And the character that you're being is, you know, an output via an injection, which is an input that we subconsciously accepted or grew into, which is basically the indoctrination. What, you know, people refer to as part of the conscious communities and stuff like that as the matrix and shit like that. And the matrix is nothing but just uh, a parameter that has metrics in it, aka it's a land that I run. So if I had a land like Turkey or Greece or some shit like that, I would 
I would put some laws and rules on that shit. That'd be my parameter. I would outline it. I'd be, I, I make that my bloodline run that area. And a lot of the times, what a lot of people don't realize is that your mind actually got took over by another group of people. That's why you're sitting down trying to repeat these different practices and rituals. If you're a theologian and you're in the religious perspective, trying to replicate this for some type of power, thinking that, oh, this is what you have to do. It's not even, it's not even, it's not even that. People just take these things and modify them in their perspective. So if you talk to a Christian, they can, one of them might tell you, oh man, yeah, I think, I, man, I had this buddy. He was telling me like, yeah, you know what? If you get the spirit destiny, which, you know, Jesus Christ was stabbed with, you, you're going to get some type of power. You have some type of magical power or some shit like that. But you don't realize it's your perspective as a collective population that give that idol, that give that symbol its power. And people give these things power for the wrong reasons. You got to understand that, for example, right, the Coptic cross, all that's just showing you just summer, spring, winter, and fall. These, and the Bible itself is a book about these things. So you can't tell me that your Bible came before the fucking atmosphere. You can't tell me before that your Quran came before the atmosphere. I'm pretty sure, like, people actually think that somebody was sitting down and like, yeah, in the Bible, Genesis, yeah, God said it was the beginning. No. They're telling you a narrative and a story about a cosmology, about an astrology. They're explaining to you, God damn it, fucking existence, motherfucker. And, 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 they're, and, they're, tell, and they're outlining it and writing it via logical scripts, logical languages, left brain dialects and stuff like that. Hindus got it. Arabs got it. English n niggas got it. South African niggas got it. Man, every nigga got a language. But what are we pointing to with that language? Right? People get lost in the language. Oh, I'm a great English speaker. Oh, I'm a great... Nobody give a fuck what you speak. People, I mean, that's, that's great. You can be very intelligent. That's, that's amazing. Who gives a fuck? But it's the... It's what you resonate with and stuff like that. Do you resonate with thoughts and feelings that put you in a negative space? That actually don't put you in a space where you can prosper and stuff like that? And if that's the case, then automatically... Why not put yourself in a space where you can resonate positively unless you've actually justified yourself these things and you've been doing it for so long and it became a cycle, right? Because a lot of people don't realize that people just be getting reincarnated. Reincarnated, motherfucker. Oh, shit. I gotta do the balance. I just broke up piece of wood. People would be born in an incarnation system, in a slavery system, only to replicate and duplicate these things and create a heaven for someone else's uh, soul group, someone else's tribe. But at the same time, though, these groups of people look at I look at humans sometimes like what the fuck is this shit? Fuck humanity in every way. Because why though? Because humans are stuck in their animalistic natures. And so what did they did? What did they do? Right? They created a thought, a logic, aka an angel, an angle to take you out of your feelings, your lower animalistic desires, your fires, which is what which is what what the Bible was referring to when Eve ate the fucking apple. Her the feelings being attracted to the oh. Listen to the snake, yeah? And eating the apple and listening to her desires and stuff like that to create an outcome and stuff like that. And, and the masculine thought followed. Because you're not supposed to be emotional, but you can use your emotions to kind of like power up. Like, all this shit is just them observing, looking at the moon, looking at the sun, looking at Mars, looking at the masculine principle left, uh, you know what I'm saying? Depending on how you want to look at it from your perspective, you know what I'm saying? And they just put these things in books for you to see. Like, Real fucking shit. That's that's all it be like. But people be lost in in the creation. People don't understand that they are the creators of those things. You can't sit back and worship a name like the name of Jesus don't mean nothing. The name of Allah don't mean nothing. The Quran don't mean nothing. You gotta understand how these things were built in the first place. If you want to actually get into the spaces that people like, what religious figures worship, you know what I'm saying, or just any people in any industry worship, like warriors, you know what I'm saying. Like you just admire something that takes something further and shit like that, and sometimes in some type of way, shape, or form, you know what I'm saying? Because they're just teaching you higher knowledge from their perspective. But when you get into this from your perspective, which is what you're supposed to do, then you can have more power. Then you can, like, you know what I'm saying? Actually, be a more powerful spirit. Actually, create the reality that you want to. Why put your like? That's what I'm saying. Basically, this whole video is about. Right? So these things that play out as justifications and shit like that, right? A lot of the times, even when you look at uh, programs like, a lot of times they should be putting guilt, shame on people and stuff like that. So I was, I was just talking about, I was just gonna go on a religion, but you know what? I talked about that long enough and shit like that. So just in general, 
That's what I'm saying. These be forms of spellcraft that people be practicing that keep them in negative practices without them actually understanding the subconscious influences that's being pushed onto them so they live out in the exoteric, the objective, rather than actually understand the subjectivity behind that objectivity and shit like that. Um, so as far as pulling out of negative cycles, the cycles that we are in, these are like fluids, whirlwinds, right? And we create entities, creatures, mental forms that we live inside of our spirits that we resonate with and we just create like either parasites or either like uh more higher vibratory cells because you know this is an energy body and the more you understand how to correlate your energy bodies and stuff like that and not get lost in the world because either you can get your energy taken away from you or you're gonna have some motherfucking power in this world that's gonna just gonna be about it and anybody that's like animals don't even do self-defeating shit religion is just some self-defeating shit ain't no point about that Ain't no point about that. That's just some self-defeating shit. So why do self-defeating shit? Why think and feel self-defeating thoughts and shit like that? Why not put, put yourself in a more powerful space? The thing is, a lot of people don't realize that they're subconsciously being controlled by a cult, signs, and sigils that are placed in front of them for them to react and feel in a particular way, aka the news programs, how they throw words at you. Oh, this is happening today in, in Gaza. This is what happening today in Palestine. The government themselves is supposed to have the power to do that. Why the fuck are you advertising to us as if we got an army to go stop there? No, you go stop that shit. You niggas is doing that in the first place. So why even sit there in a news program, waste money, which you know damn well governments are sitting back and investing in the news programs because that's how you even control people. That's what people is paying attention to for most of part of the day. And if they not, then you create entertainment, you create politics. Why do you think the, that, that uh, what's it called? That person in Rome that runs everything. I forgot his name. Who gives a fuck? But you understand what I'm saying. The arena was created in Rome to entertain, to get you lost, to give away your attention, to give away your energy. So when you give away your attention in sh any shape or form, that is something that, that's a substance that anybody can take and transmute. And people don't understand that you're, we're lost. Like, this is a retarded world. Like, this is, like, it's not a, a bad world. It's not about good or bad. It's just about what you're observing and how you observe these things and what you do with these things and shit like that because you know we all got our own way and there's, technically there's no like extreme right or wrong like it's a fucked up world like if you really look at what's going on you start understand these motherfuckers bring blood adrenochrome and somebody's gonna sit back and be like oh no that's crazy no you're just too human that's not crazy people just like you, there's cannibal tribes out there obviously so that's what i'm saying that you could maybe look that up if you want to you don't believe that so all these uh, people in high positions that you might not even see ever, but, but, but be in the shadows, running everything and shit. These motherfuckers be doing all types of shit that your human ass don't even be privy to and shit. Some type of shit that my human ass would be privy to. But it's a space that you can visit and stuff like that if you know how to mentally travel. And see, that's a level of, you know, training your subconscious mind. And that's exactly what we're talking about. Because if you don't train your subconscious mind, if you, let, if you get lost in their light, in their illumination and use that as an enlightenment that's a way of trapping your spirit so if you don't understand how to observe what your space your parameter so you can make moves and shit like that what you think a boxer is doing when he's in the ring he's moving to make moves inside of his space a samurai is the same shit so you gotta understand how to move how to dodge left right aka like jay-z said move through a room full of vultures and stuff like that right and you can start doing that more elegantly you know since you at the start you might be clumsy you're like oh you know you're a kid you're riding an, an esoteric bike at the beginning you're like oh i need my training wheels and then you don't need that you know you're good you know, when you grow older you get a, a faster a bit a, a more an actual motorcycle and shit because now you can handle that engine and shit like that but whatever people are running on their softwares as far as mentally on their hardware physically that manifests as people placing things and experiences and circumstances and you know what i'm saying uh ways of conduct in their life just be low vibrational shit just based on the program that they're already running that they're not aware of and shit like that so that's why you gotta know yourself and really look at damn am i regenerate like look at the long view right think about it why is the richer getting richer and the broker is getting broken right if that's even how they say it but anyways it's because obviously there's generational wealth so okay how did that other group of people create generational wealth that their generations can enjoy and cement themselves forever. These people went to war, used all types of justifications, did all types of shit. So it's like, this is, it's like a conclusion that someone else came came to, the other people sat down and got indulged in something else rather than just going through 
change. But that's the thing. It's not about good or bad. It's just people sort of running around taking over like parameters and stuff like that, running around making everyone tribes of months and shit like that. Give them changing their intellectual properties, making their shit be like, ah, oh, nah, this is our shit. And it'd be like certain wizards, certain witches from all kinds of areas on the land correlating and coordinating shit and stuff, and stuff like that. Because we look at life like it's serious. Oh, life is serious. Because you gotta understand, we, we're our spirits and body. Somebody calls you, tells you, hey, you gotta come to the job today. You don't gotta come to the job today, but they got ways to tie you in, like money, bills, and if you don't pay these things, you can enjoy these leisures and stuff like that. And then it's like all the lands are ran by them. So even if you try to live in nature, that's gonna be difficult because you might get kicked out of that area that you're trying to live in. So that's what I mean, right? They created a system, a licensing system, and they licensed life for you. Watch what's gonna happen next. Everyone is gonna be some type of seedless baby. You're not gonna have, you might not even have, if you eat right at least, you won't, you won't, be, you won't be in that position. But they're running a program right now of killing uh, just the population in general, in all types of ways, with food, with, uh, you know I'm saying, killing um, sper men's sperm cells, destroying women's eggs, creating programs to make these things bad and unappealing and not good for this time and all types of shit. So it's like, it's just real spiritual warfare out here that the average person is really not privy to. That it's like, if we just sit back and learn this shit and really start to observe, like, God damn it, everyone is actually blinded around us. And if we just learned to open our eyes a little bit more, we would see everything. Rather than letting someone else be like, oh, look, it's the devil. Oh, it's Satan. How oh, you should be scared. And you're like, ah. But mentally, though, right? Because it's a subconscious thing, right? Real shit. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to break the rule then, too. Because they're on some, these people be on some bullshit, though. But yeah, man. Um, just mental cycles. That's really important. We look... No matter what mental cycle you're in, the best thing you can always do is just practice being in a space of nothingness, aka developing clairvoyance, aka sitting back and actually allowing yourself to sink into a space outside of your the, the thoughts and the feelings that you'll be in throughout the day. Try to create time to be in that space, aka create your own ritual and practice to build up your clairvoyance. So when you build up clairvoyance, you're actually going within and you can see that light, that awareness that someone else is trying to shine on you from you know a much more clearer space rather than being cluttered with an indoctrination because the moment you're in indoctrination you're in a box you can't tell me that you're not in a box if you're in indoctrination you're in a political party you're in a religion you have one objective way of seeing something based on someone else's subjectivity but it's based on a system based on understanding what you know all possibilities based on what god is if you get stuck into these things then at that point, that's, that's your fault. You've limited yourself and you've justified doing something uh, not good for yourself. So that's what I'm saying. No matter what program you're in, sit back, build clairvoyance, detach from your thoughts and feelings, put yourself in a space of nothingness and stay in that space as much as you can pr and practice that. It's not going to be easy the first time. But the more you build it up, it's going to be like a space, like a lens that you carry with you and bring with you everywhere. So it, it becomes like a, an esoteric item. So when you see in these Egyptian uh, hieroglyphs or any of these goddamn hieroglyphs or languages talking about some shit, stuff of Moses, you understand that that's already in you. So when you learn to use the power of these things, you just command reality. You just create your own esoteric items. Like you're, like these items we have physically are, are all representations of something we have internally. Some type of mental form, some type of intellectual property that a man created. Like a lens. Hmm. Looking at the devil in the details. So all these things are based on subconscious things. Not conscious things for religious people to get lost in exoteric outside things. Or any left brain people to get lost in any type of sciences or mathematics. Not understanding the subjectivity, the subjectivity behind these things. Or where these things come from. Because when you don't understand these things. These things will always put you in a negative space. Because now you're letting someone else do whatever they want with you. right? And yeah, it'd be all types of shit. Because the thing is. The average person, let's say, is already lost in such a crazy way. The whole world is like lost in a, in, in a logical program. So that's already hard to tell someone else separate from these thoughts and things. Huh? You mean what? You don't want me to you want me to separate from Jesus? Not think and feel about Jesus? Ah, oh, no, nah, brother, that must be of the devil. What? You don't want me? You, you want me not to be in President Donald J. Trump or President Joe Biden? Nigga, you crazy? I have an affiliation with this political party. 
bro, you're part of a legion. That's all that says. That says, that says like, yeah, I like my indoctrination. Mm -hmm. I like my denomination. Mm -hmm. And what these people don't understand is that you're the very same, that's the, that's the very same demonic, low animalistic behavior that these guys, these Jews are trying to sit back and equalize and balance and create a solution for as far as a problem. But they look at it, the problem is you. They look at it, the problem is the people. I'm not saying you, I'm saying the people that are lost in indoctrination. This, indoctrination and shit like that so it's like they look at that as like oh you're into a virtue you're into a vice you're into like you look at things that way okay no problem we'll create a point of view for you within our system so you we, so we can still harness your energy while at the same time balancing uh you know your mind from our objectivity and this way you can you know what i'm saying play out still in our system so that's what they sit back and do so when you see concepts like uh extreme left brain concepts or extreme right brain concepts like oh like Islam, for example, let's be very logical and explain these things from with the word, right? Because that's like the air, and the Bible refers to that thing as well, right? That's about the prince of the power of the air, being able to use communication, logic, and the air energy, and the waves, the sound waves, and stuff like that, to push out intentions and energies and feelings and stuff like that. And that's what they're doing with their magic wand, aka religion, entertainment, politics. Now I'm saying shout out to the door of the pilot, pilot man for the five pillars and shit like that but real shit these things just be all around us but unfortunately people don't be having the capacity or i want to say the capacity they just don't want to see it because the truth is right in front of you and that's what i'm trying to say that these jews are telling you what the fuck is up but if people don't sit back and actually get into a more of a godly space and be smart because some look i can't do something with you i can't enslave you unless like you know what i'm saying you're, you're you're not watching out for what I'm doing. You're not responding. You're not reacting. And a lot of the times they be pushing out shit. To people in a docile space, and they will, and when they want to transform some shit, aka Venus comfortability, love, value, and appreciations. And these things are not bad in the percentage level. And we create these things, but these things are just a craft that has to do with the external masculine pillar being able to you know push out something from your feelings, how you personally. You know, feel about things, or how you person, what you're passionate about, or just something that you get influenced by. You want to push it out as a shape and form. That's how even Michelangelo, or whoever the fuck, uh, made these biblical paintings and painted these churches. That's someone else being influenced by someone else's logical program and taking their attribute and regenerate. Because he was what a very creative person. And he took that, he took that logical space, that logical outlining of someone else, and made depictions of angels based on the text itself. But he gave it, you know. You give that space more energy, and that's what we all do, unfortunately, subconsciously, and stuff like that. So, it's like, everything is a pattern. And hold on, you know what? This is really good right now, right? Because I said everything is a pattern, and I literally saw a pattern. So, let me just pull that out. One second. Sacred geometry in this motherfucker, right? All possibilities. Man, shout out to all possibilities. But, look, chakras rotate. We create patterns. Why do you think Buddha like God, goddamn flowers and stuff like that? Because all these things are pointing out patterns and, and, and rotation systems and literally like these are things that these are wheels we create like the same way you turn on your car is the same way that we as observers put in thoughts and feelings in our chakras insert input things from a, a nothingness space or a space that is known in reality and we create these wheels we, we will things into existence but all people like to what will what the jews want them to will for existence that's why the world's fucked up the world's a retarded place because you got someone else running the world that's retarded that's just based on someone else's having someone else having structure control the structure to run things and shit like that so it's like they, they run the factories so it's so like you read about the rothschilds you get us that even the rothschilds are being utilized for an agenda now they know what they're in on but they're still being utilized for an agenda overall so when you look at all these different 13 families, names and stuff like that, yeah, they create a colony, but all these things are slave. All, all these people are like, I don't want to say slaves, because obviously that's a sore root, they're benefiting from it and shit like that. But at the same time, though, it's just like retarded. It's kind of like narky. It's kind of like stupid. It's kind of unnecessary because the whole world can like flourish. And since we're all going to pass on anyways, can nobody can, well, that's what, that, that, the thing is, they worship a spirit because that, I have to explain it. That's the thing. They worship a spirit that makes them attached to this world so they create like a program but it's not bad it's not good or bad it's just that it makes you more denser it makes you less into density but if you understand what you're doing what you're even sowing you could be a bad motherfucker you can control your cycle real shit to the point that you know what i'm saying when you uh when they create pharmaceutical products as a form of uh 
a cause to have an effect on your body based on a, on a cause that had an effect in your body that it may, perhaps may have led to an ailment, that's, that's, that's just creating an external version of these things. So when you understand biology, when you understand mental science, when you understand what just life is about in general on a deep subconscious level, you will just flourish because you see, because that's what it means to see in the valley of the blind. That's what it means to see in the valley of the blind because everyone is blind on a subconscious level. That's why everyone can, so nobody can see everything. So people are scared of the dark. Yo, you gotta go, you gotta go in the dark to actually find God. God is not in the light. He will be lost in the light. He will be lost in like exoteric worship and that shit don't do nothing for you other than get you to give up your energy. Since And since a man, and since, and since they don't show you the space that you can sit back in and observe these things for yourself, we get lost in these things. You know how many intellectual properties based on the universe that we can create as a collective based on understanding what these things is? Like, humans, the, the planet would flourish because we wouldn't have fat motherfuckers running around um, eating a bunch of food, goddammit. Now, that's not bad, but I'm saying, like, we wouldn't waste the planet because that's what we're doing. We're just wasting the planet. We're just letting them, like, create their shit. And they whole plan is it's just to create some type of like retarded star ship star galactic shit like build bunkers separate themselves from humanity because humanity is like animalistic but that's the thing i don't blame them even for that that's the thing but the whole world is retarded basically and the world's really retarded and fucked up man and that's what it is what it is and as a spirit you just gotta learn to get out of these mental forms and bodies and shit like that and create something new Something that's never been seen before. Play out a possibility that's never been done. It's like instead of Joe Biden or Trump or you know any of them motherfuckers, why not uh, one of us and shit like that, right? Because we're way smarter, we're way better. You don't see they system uh, working. They gotta create more divide and conquer strategies and all types of shit. And put, put people purposely in negative spaces based on planting seeds in society that are negative by nature, and them knowing that people go into these forms and stuff like that. But. Uh, that's in general, in my opinion, just irresponsible. Because if you because if you know that it, you can put a bait and a fish is gonna get it, but but that's the thing, man. It's just like I'm a whole morality type of thing. And at that point, even morality is a situation. But anyways, yeah, real shit. Negative cycles. Biatch.